first there was the apple. And now there is the orange. Ah, what's the orange? Eh? Who said that? The orange is the outstanding CEO of the year award. Now why is it the orange? This CEO started the orange revolution. Oh, they made my backdrop orange. They started the, he started the Orange Force, which is a force of motorcyclists rushing to any distress policy holder. He started Orange Speak, which is a way to have plain English in your contracts. He started Orange First. Orange First, which stood for fair dealing and trustworthiness. Then there was Orange Prime, Orange Deal, Orange Settle. So good that this Orange CEO doubled the firm's revenue from 2 billion to 4 billion. Fantastic. The Outstanding CEO of the Year Award goes to Mr. Tan Sui Chier, CEO of NTUC Income. Minister, Mr. Heng Sui Kiet, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. In 1844, the modern cooperative movement was born in the English town of Rochdale, Lancashire, at the climax of the Industrial Revolution. Social structures and trust in institutions were breaking down. Urbanization and average income levels were increasing rapidly, and so were income inequality and poor living conditions. So the people came together in cooperation to achieve thrift, economy, and security. The cooperative movement was born in response to the needs of the time. 125 years later, in 1969, as Singapore was struggling to establish itself economically, the first Deputy Prime Minister and the architect of Singapore's economic miracle, Dr. Go Keng Sui, appealed to the National Trade Union Congress, the NTUC, to divert their energies away from trade union militancy. He said NTUC should take a fresh direction, develop new fields of endeavours, and grow from strength to strength in the development of cooperatives. Six months later, on the 29th of May 1970, NTUC Insurance Commonwealth Enterprise Limited, today commonly known as NTUC Income, was born with Dr. Go Keng Sui as the founding chairman. NTUC Income and the NTUC Cooperatives were born in response to the needs of the time. Six years ago, I became the CEO of NTUC Income. 2007. And by that time, Singapore has already transformed itself into an affluent, progressive, confident, first world global city. And our job at NTUC Income was to transform ourselves so that we could reconnect with and meet the needs and aspirations of a new generation of Singaporeans. The work we did in the last six years was in response to the needs of our time. But the world we see today and the times we live in are very different from six years ago, let alone 44 years ago. Our economy may still be sound and strong, and Singapore may still be a global city but you and I know the issues of economic and social dislocation, financial insecurity, concern about food, transport, and housing prices 
cost of health care and the funding of elderly has come sharply to the foreground. The people who work in the social enterprises will again have to respond to the needs of our time. For it is an enduring condition of mankind that in crisis we have to rise up and respond in cooperation because it enhances our mutual security with collective action because it is more powerful than individual action and for a social cause because it is more unifying than for private gain. So in accepting this award tonight, I want to pay tribute to all the people who work in NTUC income and in the social enterprises. To all of you who do what you do, not because we believe you can change the world, but because we believe we can make a difference. This award is dedicated to you. I thank the Singapore Business Awards because your award energizes us, encourages us, and motivates us to do our work even more diligently. It reminds us what is possible if we set our dreams and our ideals high and pursue them with passion and with commitment. Above all, your award rekindles the faith and reinforces the belief that far from being a relic of the past, this is our time and that the best is yet to come. Good evening. Thank you.